recording. Three, two. Right. Hello, brother. How are you, man? What's up, my man? Welcome. <laughs> you in Kuala Lumpur or in Singapore City? I'm at my Kuala Lumpur home, brother. Oh. How about yourself? Uh, Kota Dam. Red Zone. Uh. So, macam mana? Uh, PKP. Stay at home. Reassessing, reflecting. Doing some business. Helping out the uh, autism community. Uh-huh. And then uh, doing a lot of music. How about yeah. yourself? Bro? Me, been busy doing this basically. <laughs> uh, and troubleshooting, doing the technical side of things. Uh. <laughs> uh, uh. So you've been doing uh, songwriting? Yes, I've uh, been doing some uh, ideas, also some songs about mm-hmm. the lockdown. So I will be using my IGTV, I just shared a song, Tajuk uh, Dia, was inspired by a PM uh, speech. No uh-huh. one will be left behind. Then I just wrote a song uh, out of that code. Uh, no one will be left behind. It's on my IGTV. Cool, it's eh? It's fun of it. This one ada, got more, kan? A- ada lagu pasal Makcik Kia ke? <laughs> lagu pasal uh, masuk air, bro. Otak <laughs> tu nak masuk air, bro. <laughs> Semua otak dah jam, bro. Eh? Uh-huh. Eh, ting- tinggal Just berapa orang kat rumah tu? I live alone lah. I, I oh. live alone. So, quite interesting. Because uh, you get, like for me, I be selalu kat luar kan, kat studio, dekat, you know, work. Uh, this one is a lot of, a uh, bit of reflection lah. Mm. And, you know, understanding. Just taking it easier, insyaAllah lah, pelan-pelan. So, apa yang kita boleh belajar the past few weeks? From your reflection? Oh, I think to me a lot, man. Because for me, I, I do a lot of you know work and business as well. Um, but ultimately, I think it's the same for you. Like I think we are very passionate about writing. It's just who we are. And then kita, we get a vibe, you see, when you meet somebody. And uh, this person is it's quite similar. So songwriting is very part of us. It's always mm. there. And this is a big thing uh, because I think kita dalam bubble dia kan. Mm. We are we are the goldfish uh, in the fish bowl, right? You can't see the fish bowl, is it? <laughs> but people on the outside can see us. You see, we're in the bubble, yeah. right? Yeah. So we are living in the moment now. Uh, so to our we is reflecting of how to be the best version of ourselves uh, during these times uh. because it, it exposes ourselves, man. Eh? Mm. And then the whole China thing, like for me, everybody have their own uh, perception and somebody will have to be blamed, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, so for me, I just follow the development. Banyak benda lah kita boleh belajar. Yeah. I remember yang the, f- the last two, three nights before before the PKP. Me and and few friends, me homies, we were going out, chilling at mama until two, three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Didn't expect much. And then the the day before, uh, the the the, uh, the day during the announcement, hey, what is going on, man? Suddenly we are we are we are like this. Yeah. I thought I have two kids, uh, one in Laka and one in uh, Perak. So how to get oh, yeah, this yeah. uh these these boys uh, back yeah. to Klang Klang Valley? And now I've not, we have not, at least me, I've not been out for, since uh, the uh, M- MCO. I'm Tapi sure we... Uh, banyak lagu juga abang eh. <laughs> ah, baru, baru habis, baru buat dua, dua lirik je. Tapi uh, lagu-lagu yang I, I tulis tu, dia macam tak sesuai untuk mood uh, PKP. Dia mood meriah tau. <laughs> Jadi kena pakai tu. <laughs> <laughs> Kena pakai topi topi lain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When all this is over, sir. So. Uh, ah. All this shit is over, so inshallah. Eh, inshallah soon. So we, your first song, yang at least kita orang dekat 
Malaysia ni tahu lah pulang lah kan pulang lah memang memang tu first first single eh for my own solo career yeah sebelum What? ni awi dengan band Bumi Band ni sih so Bumi Band kita ada lagu bang lagu dia goda ha. lagu goda tu kat dalam cerita rempit ni sih movie rempit kan ha. goda uh, so, goda so it was a rock song we had Some traction lah. That was my first ever uh, I dengan band I. Uh. And then after that, untuk solo I, I had an idea of this sound. Lagu yang ada macam English and Malay. Mm. But then it needed to sound fresh lah. Mm. Because I, I, we very, I'm a big fan of like some songs, you see? Macam New Radicals, you know. Right. You only get what you give, you know, macam Nine Days, right. Story of Girl, macam sama song, macam dengar je buat, ni radio, sama song. Right. Yeah, so so that song came up, came about lah. Tapi aku tengah busking kat Australia when I wrote that song. Wow. And then, I, I was just busking and then, and then I uh, wrote the song. And then aku balik dekat KL. And I had a friend and the manager. Dimas lah, manager hujan dulu. Then they no hmm. dengar lagu tu juga lah. Dia no cakap dengan dengan Dimas untuk record lah lagu tu lah. So I was like, okay man, let's give it a shot lah kan. Yeah. <laughs> Came back And... just for a holiday bang. Supposed to balik Australia kan. Uh. Masa ada kerja kat sana, ada main dengan band kat sana kan. So it was like, okay juga kan. Travel semua kan. So it was it was just a holiday dekat KL lah, but it was a key of us. Lepas tu tak, tidak, tidak jadi balik lah. No, no turning back lah. Then you <laughs> you became a recording artist since then. Yeah man, because I just, I tried to focus because I knew the it wasn't going to be easy lah. Hmm. But still banyak kerja dan I'm, I'm really passionate about it. And I love Malaysia as so I was like, This is a nice time to just settle down like, instead. Right, so, right. I had a year plus anyway, two years to Australia. Uh-huh. I think writing my own music would be best. You got to work. Because it's like a cover, and mm. doing cover songs. But it's fun, like so, Melbourne, you know. Are we going to uh, write song the the Australia? I was learning about it. I was learning about. The songwriting then, I'm learning about it now. Um, And writing. after your first single, uh, uh, I mean your first solo single, Pulang Lah. So yeah. since then you kept on uh, writing songs. Yeah, then I just kept on writing, adding a warner. Uh-huh. So after Pulang Lah, we had a ballad. We wanted to put our ballad, Bila Aku Jatuh mm. Cinta. Mm-hmm. I had a drama song and alhamdulillah until now you know the uh, response has been quite positive there's always people tagging me on Twitter uh-huh. about the song so after that you know I had I had like oh my just I just other songs lah like. alhamdulillah lah you know I'm just glad that my ideas has been shared lah like. I just want to improve the sound as the year goes by yeah. And then you start writing for other singles as well, kan? Siapa lagi ada, eh? Asmida ke? Asmida. Eh, lagi siapa? Asmida. Same, same. A little bit of of uh, production is yours as well, sir. Sometimes <sighs> I nampak juga nama you as like, you're everywhere, lah, Mr. Abang Ad, kan? But I did for Asmida. Hmm. Okay. It's a few uh, Datuk Siti, yeah. Faizah. It's a lot of uh, artists, a lot of musicians, a lot of good voices in uh, in Malaysia. Mm. Very happy. Kaka, I really like her voice. Kaka. Oh, you yeah yeah. Kalau kalau aku kaya, siapa punya lagu eh? There was a uh, ultimate. Uh, Omar K. Audi Mark. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I see. And me, I, see. I joined in at the yeah during the singing part and 
the whole uh, arrangement they had, they kind mm. of had it on the demo mm. tapi ai masuk ai tambah-tambahkan sikit vocal hook mm. thing was alhamdulillah that was that was the an experience that was a fun experience there was there was fun times yeah the you you punya performance dekat AJL tu pun I think I was one of the judges kot that malam tu yeah I was think. electrifying That that was a moment, alhamdulillah. Yeah, uh, that was a moment. That that was that was a fun time, and until today, you know, alhamdulillah, people always remember that song and that performance as well. That is, sing a bishukur. There's yeah. many more to come, inshallah. And I'm always excited to see also all the new talents, mm. the new sound. I wonder how the, all this uh, PKP and all this direction of the world. Will also affect music eventually again. I I think so too. No, I think not not just music. I, I think I think almost every almost everything, you know, every one of us will be affected by 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 this COVID nineteen again. To, to be honest, I'll be. Yeah. I can't think beyond fourteenth April. Yeah. Kalau kalau the gov the government uh uplift this uh. This PKP, I really don't know what yeah. what 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 is going to happen. Not not just our uh, health, you know, secu- security, our economy, our economy as well. Which yeah. what 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 you you surang, uh, surang entertainer kan? your livelihood is I think I think uh, basically, uh, kebolehan you untuk berada di halayak ramai to perform. Yeah, sure. Now gone really. Bro. After after this 14 April, uh, mass gathering might not be something yang yeah. we can do. So, uh, what can you think after 14 April, Avi? And what is your uh, thought on it? Yeah, this is the reality, son. And uh, I think every the first thing that we should recognize adalah everybody is going through the same thing. To get that empathy, and so our heart is filled with sympathy and empathy, and it's okay. I think it's a good time for us to even all find our reset button. Maybe there's some things that we want to do and want to just have a fresh start. Mm. There are certain things as well. We got music, right? That we cannot expect to be the same anymore. However, quality of music will always surpass any anything. Is it a good song? Is a good song. So keeping it on the micro, focus on uh, on on the art is also very important to me. Tapi on the macro, uh, we try to explore new things as well. Mm. There's there's a few things yang kita boleh cuba untuk tambahkan the lost income, right? Mm-hmm. There's no more shows and all that. You see, so for me, it's I just think that kita can uh, ikut plan B ya sekarang. Just Do we have a plan B? Something else that that's 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 plan B. You see, which is everybody just try to uh, make do with what we have, and then we all support each other. Uh, crazy times, man. Yeah. There's no definite. Uh, there's no definite answer. Yeah. The way that the compassion will will go a long way. Uh, everybody would react positively with compassion, and it's oh. hard time. Yeah. And it's a wonderful time as well. We are smart about it. Wonderful. Yeah, because I mean, economy. Yesterday, gumbang. I was researching it. I was just reading up, man. Nineteen mm-hmm. eighteen pandemic, bro. Uh huh. It's yeah. It's 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 quite similar, man. Swine The Spanish flu, flu eh? Ah, uh, swine flu. Every time go around, pun macam sama. Yuk. And then the results were also very similar. Yeah. Tapi do orang symptom teruk, was. Lagi so, teruk. Lagi teruk. So imagine yang kita punya first wave ni dah pergi. Mm. And then it comes back right. It comes even worse. I was like holy shit. I was like oh my goodness. But the economy crisis. But also how did people react after that? You know, Because the world didn't end and ended then. Man. I'm sure they believe pada masa tu itu dah kiamat. That was during World War One. bro. Yeah. It's like, right like, after. What? You still got the flu. It's like tak perlu tak perlu hidup. <laughs> It's like what the. But they survived, and I'm sure, inshallah, 
Kalau Tuhan memang kasih kita chance kan, this is our time. Tapi lagu-lagu, aku rasa untuk kawan-kawan pun agak lebih banyak deep sikit lah. Lepas ni eh? Ya, yeah, a lot of reflection yeah. eh. Betul. Even yourself bang. Even lyrics and you know, all. I can't wait to uh, work on a song with you lah bro. Ya lah. Long overdue yeah. lah bang. So I long overdue. Melody and a beat. Uh. Uh. You help me to lyrics to get the lyrics <laughs> baik ni bang. Tapi we eh, agaknya wala- uh, despite mungkin uh, live live shows akan kurang for for performers like yourself tapi the fo- the focus on uh, recording I think kita kena go back to do a lot more recording stuff kan and then hopefully um, a platform macam ada uh, all these streaming platform can help us uh. In fact, uh, going back to CD or whatever, ada ada material format. Eh? What 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 do you think? Could it be? Could we go back to that way? I I feel like it's a it's a, it's gonna be a, a mashup of uh, your own personal uh, branding, so a pers- an individual's personal branding, and also how he markets that. Mm. It's, it's it's gonna be like internet is gonna change, right? It's gonna be a lot of like online shows. So imagine mm. a, a an individual with good, you know, media, social media presence. Then they can tap and onto that. You see, then they can have personal branding on their own. They can have brands. So nak kenal macam gitu, aja dia tak boleh fikir macro, dia fikir micro. Micro. Like. There's there's a few tips yang we think ah di per internet, you know Gary Vaynerchuk. There's a lot of uh, you know all the social media punya gurus, you know. But I I learn a little bit and I try to come up with something yang end of the day is all about being authentic, you see. So being authentic. Way, just, yeah, just focus for me as a you know music artist who have no more shows and all that. How do I carry on, right? For me now is you know. Using social media to really showcase our with passion, mm. all my my linkage, the brands, my CSR, and Alhamdulillah, I've been I've been doing this for a year with my company, mm-hmm. Nusantara, <laughs> a new perspective of Nusantara, like basically just Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, There's some businesses going on. So now during the COVID stay at home, all we have like two. Businesses stuff lah, mm. just going. We have our kita punya Portuguese egg tart. <laughs> <laughs> Portuguese egg tarts, bro. So it is. The plan, yeah. The plan was actually April that the cafe, ah. second cafe lah. Was the first cafe? I Aiman kan? I was the studio cafe dengan Aiman Hakim. So now we're the second. Itu dekat uh, Ara Damansara, bang. Studio okay. we are. That's where my studio is. Dekat, dekat Oasis eh? Dekat uh, Symphony. The Daira Oasis. Okay, faham. I know. Yeah. Symphony. Okay. So it's right behind that. And then the second one was uh, Faisal Tahir punya new studio, uh, old studio tu. Kita convert <laughs> into a studio cafe as well. Ah, so you cool. will have this egg tarts, you see. So for me now, I tengah stay at home. I jual ekta with my team and my partner. I help on the marketing side. You know, people wouldn't guess, but he helped me out and also hand sanitizers. Yeah. Where we got parents of autism working with me. So wow. they become agents. They also earn side income. You see, jadi dari situ aku pun earn a little bit, but I, you know, give the profits to uh. To the parents to have more products. So they don't want to be agent, then mm. they need to earn more money. Yeah, boy. So all these yeah. autism parents, by young can, it's very And costly. Do people know about this? Are we that you you have been doing all this? Do you do you share I it do with love. the? I'm trying my best. Yeah. Oh. I share it on my medium. I'm trying my oh. best to keep the the content interesting. And alhamdulillah lah. There have been uh, people sharing within my community, and hopefully your community will also help support me as well, Abang. Mm, cool. I'm, I'm trying my best. I'm sure. 
Oh, eh, kita pernah lepak dekat studio Tajah. Alright. Ah, dan you Tajah, Hazama ada. Then kita main gitar, eh kita buat buat lagu. You are Okay, bukan nak bu, bukan nak bukan nak bodek eh. Kalau kalau bodek uh, lima tahun dulu kita dah dah ada kerjasama kan. Understand. <laughs> Tapi the is you are a natural songwriter. Bagi kita, okay, let's let's write. Pam, you terus you terus boleh boleh buat song songwriting. So, yeah. um, melody usually. Yeah. Melody. Kebanyakan lagu-lagu yang you buat tu uh, You simpan aja di rumah I mean uh, Sayang tidak ramai orang dapat Menyanyikan lagu Awi Rafael Kenapa keadaan tu berlaku eh? Yeah. I think sometimes I think there's Songwriting is a process hmm. So untuk Awi Awi just focus on the emotion of Just writing Keeping it in the bubble kan Mm-hmm. And just flowing and just keeping on writing. And how do you like sometimes a few of it just stand a test of time a bit and then somehow the lines occur and then they sometimes we can sell it. Mm-hmm. Even they will use it, you see. But some of the songs I keep for future artists, I'm mm-hmm. very interested in also finding new voices. I believe in the in the new generation, you know. So hopefully lah, same with all of you. And I hope I can also contribute to the music art side of the upcoming Malaysian talents lah. Macam, how do you go about finding new new talent? We have a few uh, actually to be launched sebelum raya, you see. We plan it all. Uh, yeah, we have the video released. But it's alright. We, we're going to do it right after, inshallah. Uh, but I have two brothers, you buy in Khan, two brothers, um, really fresh, mm. you know, they, they just love music. And then very family, you know, so they're very sheltered, very simple boys, very good boys. But look good and uh-huh. change them, you know, and image semua. So we have a single coming out for them, I'm very excited untuk orang Spectre F. Adik brother, you know? Nama nama band group orang Spectre F. Nama band Spectre F is like two brothers. Uh-huh. Lagu orang Engkau tetap ada. Music uh-huh. video semua dah ada. So those are a few examples of the talents that's going to be released under uh-huh. our company lah New Santara, insyaallah. New Santara. New Santara. Cool. So itulah songwriting for me is I I try to also. Yeah, Share it with this upcoming artist, lah. Inshallah. Mm. But I agree with you. All of us should be writing more, and mm-hmm. uh, for all the other artists. Sebenarnya on the mana ya jumpa eh? on on Facebook or YouTube somewhere there was a video of you, young Awi Rafael, budak budak lagi menyanyi or was uh, performing. Kat sekolah ke? With yeah. In your school uniform? Villa tu eh? Yeah. Siapa yang ambil video tu? Apa occasion tu? I think there was some content from my IGTV And I uh-huh. just posted as a throwback But yeah, you can see that the Sekolah rendah kan? Uh-huh. That I really like performing I was really uh-huh. on my guitar Those were Awi punya day lah Awi, Bila time Awi dulu I was very sheltered in a way Which is music, me, guitar, reading books about music. Mm. Johnny Cash, all these are Kurt Cobain, semua yang macam Irvin, Fire, Biography. I love it. And How, even how old now, were you when you started playing guitar? <laughs> I remember I was about, I think about 12 or 14. Mm-hmm. But I was always interested in the songwriting first. Whoa. Whenever we bought the albums, right? Me and uh-huh. my sister, I've always look at the small print, right? And then I always tell her that you see, it's not. So the lu, the cakap yang nyanyi tu, yang tulis lagu tu kan? Uh-huh. Sister, uh-huh. Cakap, uh-huh. Dia tengah nyanyi, dia yang tulis. I said no. 
<laughs> I see there is another song right there here. So, no, those were the two. first memory I had. Uh-huh. That I understood songwriting is a different art. Like, you know, everybody can sing, but songwriting, not everybody can do. Right? I was very yeah. interested in that. Yeah. I was very interested in that. How old were you uh, when you started writing your first song? Wow, that, there were many. Because I do, me and my sister, we 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 like to uh, write. We like a song, right? So we write mm. the lyrics. So we end up doing a lot of writing, and I think that also contributed, you see. Yeah. The love of of writing, songwriting, like. Dulu tak ada rec- tak ada phone semua kan, so it hmm. was tunggu dekat dekat radio ada lagu yang suka dia sub tu je record, cantik. Tu je record eh? Yeah, and then and malam-malam kita semua kan, me and her lah, we were right uh. there. That was my bonding time. So you see, music has a lot of emotion, memory, you know, emotional memory hmm. of me and my family. That's why until now, I try to keep me in that space still. Even though it's like a career, but obviously now everything changed. <laughs> I feel this this whole COVID will last until end of the year. So, insyaallah lah untuk kita semua bang. Yeah lah. Tapi macam you cakap tadi lah, going going back to COVID ni, um, it's like uh, God is uh, pressing the reset button. For for all of us. Yes, all of us. By the way, where is your sister now? Do orang semua dekat Singapura. Do orang I see. So I stay di Malaysia seorang. Yeah. Not married. Yeah. <laughs> Single. So this PKP has been quite quiet for me. <laughs> it's quite it's quite interesting. Yeah, Singapore. Uh, like Singapore pun baru start lockdown. Uh, Yesterday, yes. yesterday or two days ago, eh? Yeah, better as well. I will take mm. it because my mom diabetic, you see, mm. and we do not want to risk it. So, kita yeah. semua stick at satu rumah kan? Yeah. And I will have to be quarantined at home with her, and it exposes her. We also have a small child there, so yeah. we just stay lah like, dekat sini. Even though I really miss all of them, you see, so I can't even move anywhere. But. Wow. This my wish for lah. I'm just very lucky that I'm safe in Malaysia. Malaysia has been quite a great man in tackling the issue. I'm very proud, very worried about Indonesia, guy. Hmm, sangat, sangat, sangat. I'm very worried about Indonesia. I think the whole thing that happened in China is going to happen there. Mm-hmm. However, if we were to get testing there, ASAP, power. Hmm. The garden is terlalu besar, kan? Population the tinggi to get to get the testing done. Wow, it's a it's a very crazy huge so task. We can only shudder. Mm, so true. There's already reports of downplaying. Like in the morning, right? I heard the the registry of death mm. actually recorded way much more than the uh, you know um, official numbers. Uh-huh. Which I think is a normal strategic country yeah. government's you know, psychology downplay. You see, however, mm. yeah, our neighbors is in. So mm. I've got, got a lot of friends there. And my dad is Indonesia. Wow. I just he's in in, in Indonesia, so I just had of his spine. Yeah. Inshallah. Yeah. Sekarang ni to re, to really love somebody. It's really to be apart, away from them, lah. Eh? It's not yeah. to be with. It's not to be with them, but it's to be away from them. Like me myself, my my mom is 83, quite poorly, eh, in in terms of her health. I no, I I can't go visit her. I got two boys, you know. Yeah. I I can't go visit them. But it's it's funny. It's it's strange in 2020. It's where you love somebody, you stay away from them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tak tak de tak de flying cars. Tak de no, back to the future that, punya yeah. hover hoverboard. <laughs> yeah. Like we were off to a bad start anyway. 
I mean, awesome. in all honesty, you see. I mean, we've all, it started off with all the uh, Amazon rainforest, remember? Started off with the rainforest being wiped out. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. after that, we had the Upyur brother, Muslims are being killed, and everybody just shut up. You know what I mean? And there's just so many theories, but Islam, Allah is watching, you see. Sometimes we think this is bad for us. But mashallah, it could have been much better than what was coming then. <laughs> could, be, uh, could be better than right? what was coming. Eh? <laughs> what was coming? Eh? <laughs> they're doing some warfare thing. Already they're saying this thing comes from Wuhan um, lab, which is 300 meters away from the wet market. You know, like I'm entitled to my own opinions, right? Yeah. Like I really yeah. believe that happened, man. <laughs> this is a virus, bro. Man, man. Uh, this is a virus which take years, which take centuries to build that immunity, you see? To build that chain, you see? And just 300 meters from that wet market is the lab. 300 is just the pan mata, you just say. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> they close off. Exactly, you know, so it's, it's, it's just, it, it like, we are, you know, we just have to question each credibility, because we are all paying for it, right? we yeah. deserve the right, we need right yeah. meters, baby. we deserve the right, yeah, mm. but I, for me, you know, it's just, it's a test, huh? <laughs> it's a test, and I hope, I hope, like, I'm going to smooth up, but, surviving, yeah. And you you're there staying staying alone, living alone must yeah. be very lonely, eh? Yeah? It's pretty you, quiet. Yeah. Tidak, yeah tidak deafening. Not deafening yet. Yeah. <laughs> I think I passed that when I was about twenty seven. How I've so? Been living, I've been living alone for for a few years, right? Eh? But when I was 27, 28, then I grew a bit more mature, and then you much accept you don't need to go out. Then I started to divide work, work, work and home. And then comfortable staying at home, but no, not too long like this, la. it's too quiet. La. Yeah, this. This is just too long. Yeah, yeah. If it's not this long, then can you enjoy being alone by yourself? I took a break, right, a few years ago. So for me, I during that time also, I was I was healing. Mm. I had a bit of a like you know health issue, like my skin was a bit sensitive and all that. I spent a lot of time alone during that time, mm-hmm. but also that reflected on my writing. Like that was during the time I was lagu dengan kakak, ada jalannya, you know, it's an inspirational kind of song. I was going through some dark times during those times. I, I stayed alone for quite a while. That was a few months, mm. but I was just getting in tune with myself, I believe, and so this. As right now, Alhamdulillah, it's pretty okay. It's pretty all right. Yeah, we can still go out. I'm healthy. Can do what we want, right? Cuma the uncertainty. Mm. That one is everybody has to deal with it. You know? Yeah, and as a performer, eh, kerinduan untuk perform tu macam mana? I do actually. <laughs> and in fact, like it is kenyanyi, right? Like for me, uh-huh. I, like I, I love to sing, right? In my own way, it's just an uh-huh. expression, right? Uh-huh. So I, I just, I just recorded some uh, cover songs, mm. and I plan to just release it later on soon in uh, on my IGTV, like karaoke, you know, stay home and sing. Other than my online vocal lessons that I teach oh. at academy. Yeah, uh-huh. 
academy we do online vocal lessons and i just share whatever that i know in my experience you see so alhamdulillah it's been it's been working out we have a few students there is singapore there is kl university of uh, lim kok wing a few of the students there and i just share for me as a, as a singer you see and there's various levels some of them are ready to sing uh, this one of them is 18 years old whole package he looks like hana delisha ish mm-hmm. can sing yeah? and then she she doesn't really know what she wants to do but she loves singing and she just recovered from a personal macam health nerve issue you know i'm working with this dialysis fighter bang hope mm-hmm. you can write him a song this is dialysis fighter he he loves music he wants to be a singer you see mm-hmm. but he's he's 38 and he has dialysis he has kidney oh, failure oh. Oh, yeah. oh. he has two kids as well how do i yeah so for me is i wrote him a song and inshallah kita sign dan kita release lagu dia all this is just like ignite their hearts you see mm. like between you and me we understand the music industry right Like now is not the time for even new artists and all that. However, people still need faith, and in these times, people need belief. Mm-hmm. And if we can offer that, why not? So yeah. That's right. Hopefully, yeah. let me you will uh, support and share all our artist release. Yeah. Between uh, being a singer and being a composer. Which is which one is your priority? A singer. I I I enjoy being a singer. I love being a being a writer, a composer. Mm-hmm. Composer is like you can hide. Like for me, it's like that's your true self. But as a singer, it it gives joy to people. You see, in many ways, mm-hmm. and. I just try to share lah apa yang aku tahu and and keep it innocent. Yeah. Keep it innocent macam mana? So the people think too much, you see. And even as singers and and the young singers yang aku jumpa, they they think so much. They think about judgement. They think about the song. They worry about is the song quality good. This that. As a singer, honestly, Yvang, I I just keep it as innocent as possible, mm. and then just try to sing the goddamn song, and then just feel something, and it is a very good slow, and then alhamdulillah, it's been working out. Nyanyi je lah, lantak engkau lah, eh, enjoy yeah. je. Yeah, but there must be that moment, is it? That there must be that respect to that to that song, you know, that you you have you want to do it. For that, well. all, yeah, do it well. Mm. Like do it as how it's supposed to be. Mm. That you can do, and no judgment. There's no judgment and that's going on in me at all. Yeah. Mm. There's a lot of emotions, isn't it? Mm. And even music that I listen to and all, it's not judgment. Like I see all my colleagues and all my friends, and I look at it as all as all of us are doing our part, and just some music. Go in some music will stick, you know. Yeah. And it's just it's just fun to be in the community and somewhere. Betul. We all in together. Betul. Your songwriting mostly uh, with gi- uh, guitar or piano, keyboard. Used to be a lot of guitar. Used to be. Started out with guitar. Uh-huh. And then um, there was this phase in KL where we had the bully piano, so I was writing on the piano <laughs> like the whole time. Uh-huh. So my second album came out right after uh-huh. the first album, the Pulang Lawan album. Second album came out, it's a little bit more ballad. You know, the record label was like, "That's a lagu ballad, you know, man." Uh-huh. Then I bully bully keyboard to record it. But now I'm glad that I did both because now it's as a producer, I get to put beats. I mean, mm. all the arrangement—it's just natural. Mm. 
for me, I'm very intrigued in, in, in producing and mixing, engineering. Mm. It's a very fun time. It's still sponsored by, uh, what was the word? Sponsored, eh? No. What, what, what's the word for it? You buy uh, Taylor's guitar. Endorsed by Gibson. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the word. Endorsed. Oh, Gibson. Gibson. Yeah. yeah. Masa kita, Gibson, masa kita together dekat Port Dickson for three days, eh, for 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 three days for night dulu, and you were sponsored yeah. by Gibson. How do you love? Hmm. Oh, Ma- you mas- remember that? Yeah. Bukan senang tu. How do you so, love? That was Singapore. And dulu, US. ada pernah cerita-cerita nak jadi guitar hero ke? Wei. Tak dia. Not guitar hero, but I always love songwriting kan, and the singer. But that guitar dari Gibson tu yang Elvis Presley pakai yang awi ame dari Gibson has always been my dream guitar. You see, uh-huh. so I'm just very lucky uh, because I'm I, I'm not really into guitar. Like hmm. I can't do it. Awi tak boleh masuk dalam otak awi. Like that, I tak boleh. But I always love that guitar. You see, it's a double uh-huh. pakai bunyi je sedap kan. Big rock, mm. the Elvis pakai sound of Mumbai, and then I always told myself that it was too expensive for me when I was young, right? I really, I grew up without a father, you see, so just me and my mom, mm. my siblings, you see, so that was out of my reach, bro. But since I was young, like that has always been my dream, uh, dream. something that you I, I, want to have. Yeah. I must have yeah. it. Yeah, I, I must I have that guitar or die. Yeah, dulu I was staying on guitar. Kan. I I wish ya dulu pergi Peninsula Plaza dekat uh. Singapore jauh ni dari rumah. Naik bas bagai pergi guitar store tengok gitar dengar sound sikit. Pegang takut buat. Tengok ya. Yeah. Kita tengok ya. Yeah. Tengok ni ni, ni. habis kelas kan saya pergi sana sekejap tengok balik ah. Uh, But then yeah, after a few years Then Allah gave me a present. He just appeared in front of me. Oh. That's exactly. Yeah. How? I was just very lucky. I've just always been lucky. Like since I was young, you have to understand, right? Like for me, it's oh, there's Singapore, you see, and it was a very small town. People were not so rich. You were like, you know, the low income. My mom was just, she was a dentist, but she raised. All of us alone. Mm-hmm. My dad was in Indonesia, so we were small. We were just our, my my ticket was studying. So I, mm. I studied. I tried my best to study. So I belajar law. I'm just supposed to go there you see, and just study law, sign on Singapore, uh-huh. okay, care my family. What? Yeah, but music was in me, you see. and yeah, a whole new life. So I'm just very lucky to be. Even dapat apa apa yang saya dapat di Malaysia, you see, because it's it's all a dream come true. <laughs> Never imagine, yeah. I, I visualized it. I was really certain about the visualization, you see. Dulu awi in Singapore NS, right? Hmm. Nai basikal bang. So I told my friends last time was I said. You know, because itu time datuk Siti kahwin dengan datuk K. Itu time ah, so imagine how long that was. I was doing uh, my NS, my uh, national service. Kena kena one, yeah. Kena 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 Ihsan Ace kenal tak? Apa? Ihsan Ace. Ihsan Ace, ya, ya, ya. Dia band kan? Dia bomba ke ataupun dia melupa lah? Ya. Yeah. Uh. Point is, dulu saya naik, naik basikal, nak pergi camp kan. Sometimes uh. lah, saya cakap dengan saya, kita tahu kan suara Dato' Siti hebat bro kan. I was like bro, one day I'm gonna I'm going to write a song for Datuk Siti lah. Itu time dia bukan Datuk kan. I said, I'm going to write a song for Siti bro. 
Orang seperti tahu lah. Even I didn't believe myself. Even you don't believe. Even I didn't even think about it. It was just a joke. Uh. But yeah, man, it came true. So that Port Dickson punya trip, I wrote that song, Amula dan Akhir, for Datuk Siti. Right. Who who wrote the lyric for you? That was uh, Tinta. Shantesh. Ah, Shantesh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mula dan akhir. Mula I think Tesh is, Tesh is uh, one of the uh, best uh, lyricists in, in Malaysia actually. Amazing. I gave him the song idea. Kita semua kan tengah tulis kan. But I told him, I, I got a few of uh, the keywords kan. Tapi dari situ, he fixed the puzzle. He was very, very good. Very good writing. Yeah. What a storyteller. Yeah. Yes. Those were amazing. Hmm. Two years eh, jadi jadi bomber. Setiap setiap hari naik naik basikal. <laughs> I, I my time is good. That's why Can, I, okay. I empathize. Let let's say okay, you decide now. I want I want to be a lawyer lah. What can you do to take that route to be a lawyer? From from where you are now. For me, as a lawyer, ada cara dia tu, which is you have to go for the bar, then mm-hmm. work for a local company. Tapi untuk awi alhamdulillah bang awi last year I kind of really discovered what I really want to do, which is working mm-hmm. with children and working with the autism community through mm-hmm. my music spectrum program. I've been doing that for the past eight months. We've been we did that to about forty seven students. Special needs one yeah. is amazing, bro. Using mm. music and uh, psychology. Now we could just something like UITM, you see, from the Faculty of Psychology and the Faculty of Music, mm-hmm. and then we cre- create music spectrum, using music clinically for to enhance you know, autism and uh, special needs uh, individual. Mm. So we work for these children, you see, and we have been getting results. Mm-hmm. And so many um, parents um, bermula lah untuk word of mouth, and we we got all these students. But for now, everything has just stopped for a while because yeah. safety first. So. Siapa lagi? I, I cel- really love doing cel- that. Yeah. Ada siapa-siapa celebrity lain lagi yang yang terlibat in this project? Yeah. For me, is the upcoming music spectrum festival. Sepatutnya target bulan lapan, jadi insyaAllah lah kita tengok ni macam mana. But it's all about raising awareness for the uh, autism community. Mm. Yeah. To me, especially for this month, this is Autism Awareness Month, April. Okay. Wow. Uh, di, di kalangan uh, celebrities, eh? uh, musicians, ada ramai di kalangan uh, kita yang punya anak-anak yang autistic. I think you should uh, try to get them involved as well. Most definitely. Mm. That's why I'm working hard with the UITM community. Because eventually after releasing the syllabus to the uh, governments, inshallah, we will take this program to the local level and to the school level, you see. The discola scola, suma, all the national schools, all the special schools will also be exposed to more music therapy. And what not... do you do? I, what what what, <coughs> what do you do? You, you, you create songs for them or you teach them how to sing? So for me, it's, uh, we use music mm-hmm. and juga um, protocols to really get the uh, exact response that is needed. We work with children with uh, autism, ADHD, uh, Williams syndrome. There's some with uh, childhood aphasia of speech, so speech therapy. Jadi, awi menggunakan music melalui pelajaran awi dahulu. I studied psychology, mm-hmm. and then I was very interested with child psychology and also special needs. And then, dengan uh, apa ni music, right? Like I love music a lot. There is a way to get the response. So through my IGTV, right, you can see 
our students yang obviously have issues on speech therapy children age 9 to 13 now singing being guided with vocal warm ups and then the parents are very excited because dorang biasanya senyapkan anak dorang kan dorang hmm. rindu suara anak dorang tapi masuk kelas saja dorang sudah bermula bernyanyi you see so they're very intrigued and how come it happens hmm. so from uh, so the schools are very intrigued as well like how come the psychology of it the persona that i have because there are certain things that i do consistently with the children you see sorry so this is pri- pri- private school or public school this is under Kitabli Academy with uh, uh-huh. UITM, which is New Santara Music Academy, providing music spectrum for the autism and special needs community. So this program is called Music Spectrum, from the spectrum of autism and special needs. So berbeza kan? Mm. So kita gunakan all this lah bang. Are we, are we very interested in this? And I got a lot of content on my IGTV. And so far, Alhamdulillah, it's been helping a lot of people. And are we just, you know, for me, it's giving back. It's a small minimum charge. However, the parents are all in agreeable uh, agreement that uh, it's the cheapest in town. Mm. Right? It's crazy. And that's, for me, it's more about the program nanti. And then UITM, kita train teachers to have more of this skill so they can help out more and also earn more money. In right. Singapore, music therapy... They earn about eight thousand sing dollars. Huh? Music therapy only. Imagine that. Mm. So you can provide an, a new income through training for all our musicians here to get a psychology of music cert. And then you can start teaching and also helping out a lot of people. The psychology cert will be get from your your academy with UITM. Eh? This cert. Correct. UITM will be the certification board. That's why I need to work with somebody credible. And Alhamdulillah, they believe in my program. And it's not easy, you see. It's a certified university which is well known in Malaysia. Mm. It's one of the biggest university in Malaysia. And they totally agree along with some interested parties that are Australia and Singapore. And I was just saying, I've been doing that, Abang. That's why I've been doing the syllabus. I've been trying to figure out what's the best way to bring mm. something new to this uh, community and then also music but at the same time not just for me only how can I open it up also to allow other school leavers bayangkan you dah the diploma atau degree in music lah UITM ni dah graduate ni last year ni mm. bayangkan you now COVID tengah PKP it's going to be tough times for the uh, graduates you see so yeah. hopefully this can be uh, Problem solver. Yeah. But you need to love children now because it's not easy. You need to be patient. Mm. I've got a lot, a lot to learn from you or fathers. You see, but right now I'm, I'm just like I'm not even. I don't even have a child of my own. But maybe that helped me as well because it's fresh for me. Then I'm not always with children. It's only at work, so it becomes more structured. I understand. At the same time, you know what I mean? Like, if yeah, I were yeah. to do it as well personally, I think I'd be too tired. Yeah. But I don't have that. You know? So, right. that's my release to the children. I didn't do that. I mm. really have fun. And then, you know, we help out. You know, it's also a system. The academy yeah. also sustains it. Alhamdulillah. Stuff like this, I'm just more confident. Uh, what you're doing now will occupy most of your time. Content, content, content. I really feel that, uh, and I really support everybody else that's doing it. Mm. And for you, with today's session, I, I will rather see a lot more people will be doing this in the near future. Because yeah. again, it's all about everybody's story. But you're, you're right. You're, you're right. It's about everybody's story. story. Yeah. You know, everybody I, has I, stories. I, yeah. I mm, I hope that I'm smart enough, eloquent enough to extract that great story from you or from from a person. But I'm I'm still you trying. Did a great job. Yeah. I'm 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 still trying. 
Because I, yeah, I, I believe lah. Semua orang ada cerita mereka masing-masing yang boleh dikongsi bersama. Dan cerita ni boleh jadi pengajaran. Yeah, you cerita yourself cerita. Are, are in link with legends of the industry. I know how close you are with Dr. M. Nasi. I'm sure there's so many things you can also share within your conversations with him. Is it? Which can re-educate the, the newer generation about yeah. this music. And I think people like you are very important. Very important. You are as the outside. The- The 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 problem is kan at the at the same time some of the stories are very sensitive you know and but eh tu lah tu and 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 these sensitive stories are actually very very good story but well, sebagai kawan bukan cakap pasal nasib pasal uh, cakap pasal ramai orang uh. sebagai kawan yeah. kita menyimpan menyimpan rahsia orang tau ah tetapi di masa yang sama, kalau lah rahsia ni boleh dikongsi dengan orang ramai, orang ramai akan belajar benda yang wow, wow, yeah. these people, this, 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 all these folks, they are, a lot, they are better than than what we we think they 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 are. Uh, Everybody have their own perspective. Eh? Yeah, betul. You are doing a great job, Abang. I'm very supportive of you. Thank you, Ovi. For more, more of your art, and inshallah, soon yeah. we'll work out in the studio again, okay? Okay, we'll do. Ovi, thank you so much for your time. Hope to see no you problem, again bro. soon. Nanti kita jumpa di studio somewhere. Okay. We'll do. So you stay safe with your family. Great conversation. Appreciate it. Tangan di koce, jalan menyengit, mata kabungi, hati kalangit. Sabar menanti Peluang datang Begitulah 